Start by ensuring that the existing luminaire is disassembled and in good condition before continuing with the retrofit. Unpack the retrofit kit and inspect the parts to confirm all items are included and in good condition. Next, remove the light engine assembly from the retrofit kit packaging. Remove the fasteners that secure the door and secure the fasteners to be reused in later steps. Clean the refractor glass and remove gasket material from the rim of the glass. Use caution, the glass may have sharp edges. Protective equipment is recommended. Remove the silicon gasket from the retrofit kit packaging and install the new gasket on the lip of the glass refractor. If equipped, align the gasket with orientation markings found on the glass. Place the light engine assembly on a flat surface with the optics facing upward. Take care not to pinch or damage the light engine harness as you position the assembly. Lower the glass refractor with installed gasket onto the light engine assembly plate. The gasket will seat into one of the concentric gasket channels in the cast aluminum light engine plate. Make sure the gasket is seated and the glass is oriented correctly. The gasket is marked street side. This should be aligned with the appropriate indicators on the glass. Lower the new door over the glass refractor. The text on the door should be facing upward. The wing nut assembly should indicate the street side orientation for the door. The door should fit over the glass refractor and over the gasket. Reinstall the four fasteners. Torque them according to the specifications listed in the instruction manual. Install the newly assembled door glass assembly onto the existing housing in the same manner in which it was initially removed. Before swinging the door glass assembly into position, make sure the light engine harness passes through the electrical access hole at the top of the housing. Swing the door glass assembly closed against the luminaire housing and tighten the wing nut to securely latch the assembly. Next, proceed to install the driver controls assembly. Start by removing the pre-assembled driver controls assembly from the pack. Be sure to note the driver and electrical connectors. Lower this assembly into the luminaire housing. Locate the two cast-in bosses at the bottom of the electrical housing and orient the driver controls assembly accordingly. Ensure the light engine harness now passes through the oval cut out of the bottom of the bracket of the new driver control assembly. This will protect the harness from impingement. Now reinstall the fasteners to secure the new driver controls assembly. The new driver controls assembly has two electrical connections a black three-pole driver connector and a white Molex power connector. Insert the light engine harness connector into the black driver connector and ensure that it is fully engaged. If a photo controller in the housing is to be reused, install it into the PCR on the new driver control assembly. Reinstall the bulkhead Molex connector into the new electrical cover included with the retrofit kit. Make sure the part number is visible upon installation. Once the Molex connector is reinstalled, reinstall the electrical cover over the housing cover using the existing fasteners. Connect the Molex power lead from the new driver control assembly into the Molex bulkhead socket in the electrical plate. Close the luminaire and relatch the clasp to ensure closure, taking care to tuck all wires and hardware inside when closing the housing. Finally, energize your fixture to confirm successful installation.